It's a double. It is a double. Look at that. Look at this. Yeah. Can you get them all? <laughs> Hey there folks, welcome back to Cambo Trout Fishing. Got a fantastic video coming for you today. I'm out here on the eastern shore of Maryland on this trip with my buddies Jamie and Jared. And as usual, Jamie has put us on the fish. It was a, oh God, it was a great day. <laughs> Definitely one of the best yellowfish days I've had in my life, if not the best. But throughout the course of the video, I'm gonna provide you with the tips, the techniques, the gear, even some notes on yellow perch behavior, harvest. If you like what you see through the video, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. We got a lot of ground to cover, got a lot of action to bring you. So, let's get to it. What you got there, Jared? Don't be a fall fish. If it's a fall fish, I'm gonna slap you with it. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, look at that yellow. Look at that. Oh, that's a nice yellow, dude. Look at that fatty. All right, careful now, Jerry. Careful now. So I just flip them? Yeah, I'm mean, sure that's the best option, yeah. Bring them on up. Look at that fatty. Nice. That is a fatty perch, dude. And there goes my float. So patting my float. I don't know what's happening, but it's coming off. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the shoulders on that sucker. That is a nice that's yellow, what we're dude. Here for. All right, Jared, so you were casting uh, some, uh, over that direction. Um, <laughs> that's a nice one. Got you too, Jared. You're welcome. Oh, it's a male. Oh, yeah. Jared, come here. You want, you want to touch it? <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. 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 On my seat. On my steering wheel. <laughs> Now out here today in terms of the positioning of the yellow perch, we were finding them on timber that was extending into deeper water. That's very important for the yellow perch because they actually spawn on timber, they attach their eggs to it. So if you can find that timber with deep water access, it could really be fire. It looks pretty good. It's looking pretty good. Alright now. Yeah, look at that. What you got there? Heck yeah. Gotcha. Hey you. Ain't too bad. Ain't too bad. Huh? That's probably a keeper. That is probably a keeper. Oh, he got me. He got me. All right, Jared. I'm going to squeeze him for you, man. <laughs> All in your book bag. Oh, nice. You were threatening me. Uh, see, that's what I get for even joking yeah. about it. Well, nah, he was just, he was right at nine anyway. Wasn't well, nothing too special. Now, for a rig today, I'm using something similar to a top and bottom rig with a 132nd ounce jig head on the dropper loop at top and about six to eight inches below it another 132nd ounce jig head with minnows tipped on each. I've done a previous video on how to actually tie this rig and caught a lot of fish doing it, so make sure you check that one out too. <laughs> That's a nice one, dude. Oh, I'm on. Feels pretty good too, wow. All right, what we got here? Yeah, it's a good fish. That's a good yellow, look at that. Look at that puppy. Oh yeah. Get <laughs> you want to? Oh, that, that was darn near a triple right there. Where's that stringer tied off to, Jared? It's in the bucket. Oh, it's in the bucket? All right. What you got there? Another nice one, dude. Yes. Hold that one up. Yeah. Look at that. Look at that. I'm going to get this stringer situation <laughs> straightened out. Yeah, do that while the bite's hot. Yep. Are you sure the stringer's in here, dude? No. Where's that? I don't know. Oh, it's over. Oh, man, I thought there was already a fish on the stringer. No. That's why I'm surprised when you said it was in the bucket. Really, but they're on the stringer. Why are they only why are they in the bucket? Now, here in Maryland, folks, the limit, the minimum size limit on yellow perch is nine inches. So make sure you have your bump board. Make sure you're measuring them. Luckily, today, we really didn't catch too many below that number. We caught a handful, but 
We caught more than our three-man limit of 10. The limit is 10 per person per day. And we caught way more than that. We ended up letting go a lot of fish this day. God, it was great. So let's get back to it. Oh, that's a good one. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I got two of them. No, look at this. Look at this, folks. <laughs> look at that. Oh, there you go. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah. That's it. Keep distracting Jamie. That's right. <laughs> Jamie, man, hold this rod for a couple minutes. Hey, Jamie, I got something else for you. <laughs> yep. Yeah, he's close. I'm pulling away from you boys now. You better watch it. Dude. <laughs> you better watch it. <laughs> that's a keeper. Yep, that's a Look nice one, that. dude. That's a nice freaking perch. There you go, doubled up. Ooh, that's a nice one. That's a nice yellow. There you are. He's nine and a half all day. All right, little bud. Oh, Jamie on. Look at him run. Look at him run. Right, right, up, right off the edge of that structure, which you just cast it on. I've been getting him. He feels pretty good, too. Feels pretty good. Oh, it's a double. It's a double. Oh, buddy. Look at that. <laughs> the females, I'm glad if we're, you know, we're getting big males, that's the ones you want to feed. Exactly. Now, as you can see here, folks, a lot of these fish that we catch, and even though they're really good sized perch, are males instead of females. And the females do tend to be bigger. However, we prefer to keep the males because the females are what's really needed to propagate the species to keep the stock healthy. So it's just a personal recommendation. If you catch those big, heavy females full of eggs, especially the ones like 13 inches and up, let them go if you don't need the meat because it really helps keep the stock healthy and helps keep these fish here for us and future generations. A tail, bro. That's skill right there. That tells you how thick they are down there. That is skill. Yep, I'm on too. Wow. 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 I mean, probably not, but it's big. Unless it's a double. It's a double. It is a double. Look at that. Look at that, folks. These ain't bad either. They might make it. Look at that. <laughs> oh, dude. Yeah, those are keepers all day, man. I almost asked you last night if you brought your second anchor or not. I do. Oh, you do? Yeah, you want to try that? Yeah, get that anchor out. All right. One good note here, folks, on boat positioning. It's good if you're in a small boat like this to have an anchor that you can have at the front of the boat and the back of the boat. That way, if the wind is blowing, it can't turn you and swing you as much as it otherwise would. Dang, it feels nice. It feels nice. There you are. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, these perch are so beautiful, man. Love them. That's one more. It's not quite 10. I'm going to cut her loose. All right, rascal. Oh, there you are. Oh, it's a snag. Hey, that, I just called it. That was my snag. <laughs> hey, the boat pulled me into it. I had no control. One thing we did go through a lot of out here, folks, was rigs. We sacrificed a lot of jig heads today. And I see two solutions to that. One is to go with lighter wire hooks so they can be bent in order to get the hook out of the snag. The other would be to use heavier line, but we are really enjoying catching these fish on ultralight, so we didn't want to go that route. But there's no two ways about it. We lost a lot of gear out here today. There you go. How's the fishing up here today? It's going pretty good so far. Yeah. Rod tips. You got all your lines in? Rod tip? Yeah. yeah. Hold on, let me get this one out of the way. There we go. Keep our composure! You've got too far! There's too much to lose! You've got to just keep our composure! You guys got three life jackets, Andy? Yeah. Yep. Okay. You guys running down anybody else on the water tonight? Yeah, a few people out, yeah. Yeah, but all joking aside, folks, the DNR officers here were, you know, they were great. <laughs> there was no drama. They even helped us out a little bit out here on the water. They gave us a fishing report, helped us out with the fishing licenses. They looked mine up on the computer. 
no, they were extremely helpful. <laughs> no worries at all with the game wardens here. Thanks for the work y'all do out here for the fisheries, fellas. Man, oh man, oh man. That's a thing of beauty. We ain't even done yet. No. It's, 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 it's a nice fish, dude. It's a nice fish. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's what we've been looking for. There we go, you fatty. <laughs> Not super close, but off the front of it. Oh, that one feels almost even better. Mine were, look at that, bro. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, that's such a fatty. Yeah. <laughs> can you? If you can, then great. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that. And got her. I'm about to show you right now. All right. Yep, I'm just letting it go to the bottom. I was probably jigging it probably every five or six seconds or so. They're on all these laydowns, man. The river is full of fish right now. Yeah, it's a large mouth. Awesome. <laughs> you I thought I had Perchosaurus, man. <laughs> hey, you rascal. That would be a hell of a purge. That would be a hell of a purge. You little rascal. Get out of here. Jared's on with a nice one. What do you got, bro? That's a nice bass. Holy, don't let him break you off, dude. You got, you got your drag set, man? That's a nice bass. Look at the size of that bass. Holy crap. Jerry comes through clutch on the bass catches, man. Look at that fish. That's a hell of a bass. Yeah, yeah, I got my camera on. Look at that. What a beast. What a beast. Look at that. Yeah. Now, I don't blame you anymore when you said you were snagged, man. <laughs> That's a I nice bass. Lay down. Yeah, it's the second bass we got off of here, huh? Look at that, dude. Yeah, turn on the sunlight. There you go, bro. I'll pull a still shot from this sucker. Right. Looks pretty nice. Either that or Jared's. Oh, it's a Mondo, bro. Where's it at? Where's it at? Where's it at? That is a beast. Look at that. Yes. Oh, that's a beast. Oh. He was right under us. I said, that's probably the one I just missed, man. <laughs> Look at that. Now we found the females. Oh, man, that's a perch. Hold her up there. There you go, bro. Yeah. There you are. Feels pretty good. Oh, it's a double. It's a double. One on bottom is definitely cute. They might both keep. I think so, dude. I think they might both. Definitely the top one, or, or the bottom one. No, that was a minnow. All right, rascals. Come here, yeah, look at that. Look at that. Yeah, like the one I got earlier. Yeah, dude. Nice. Turn sideways. <laughs> Trying to make art here. <laughs> there you go. As soon as we talk about leaving, oh, double, oh, double. <laughs> oh yeah, that's a nice one. That is a nice one. Yeah. Right, yes. One more again. Now, folks, that's what you call a fantastic day, man. We got a—is it a boat limit or a three-man limit? Three-man limit. Three-man limit of yellow perch. We could have stayed here and caught more, but God, we went through some terminal tackle. Either use light wire hooks that are light enough you can bend it to get it out of the snag, or bring a lot of tackle, man, because <laughs> you're gonna go through it. Like I said earlier, you had the rig from the same video I did last time with Jamie for Yellow Perch, only this time we didn't drop the basket in the water, bro. Jared, you got that stringer or is it still in the bag? Let's get it. Let's show the people. <laughs> look at that. Look at that. Look, look. Hey, let me turn this around, too. Look at this. Yeah! Can you get them all on screen? <laughs> Two things you need for that. Two main things. One, so folks who know the water and know the holes like Jamie here. And then two, the terminal tackle and gear that the kind of the techniques that I'll explain in the video are probably already explained at this point. <laughs> We're signing off folks. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. Well folks, I hope you enjoyed this. Hope you learned something along the way. If you have any questions or anything I didn't cover, just let me know. 
Now you can see here we kept the three man limit, but these are also the only perch we've actually kept the entire year. We're not guys who are coming here and over harvest. We value the fishery too much. And I hope you feel the same. So all of us, let's do what we can to maintain the health of this fishery. And thanks much for watching everyone. Please like, share, and subscribe, and have a good one.